Welcome Capricorns, I'm back y'all with another video. So yes, it's been a few weeks, but I'm back y'all. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Alright, so let's talk about September. Yes, this is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it happens to resonate, all the better. Be sure to energetically um, support this channel by clicking the like button as well, guys. Share with your family and your friends. And if you're new, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe so you're not going to want to miss out on future videos. Okay? So let's talk, all right, about September. Let's get some messages for September for the Capricorn. Let's get some messages for Capricorn for the month of September, please. All right, so Capricorn, what messages do we have for Capricorn? Ooh. All right. So I'm getting... I left when I saw you with someone. I remember every detail of that day. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So someone that you're either currently dealing with or recently dealt with, they left when they saw you with someone. They left. And the details of that day still rings in their head. Like they still think about they still think about it. Tell me more. I knew I was a distraction from your pain. This person felt felt you leaving them behind. Cause we got I feel you leaving me behind. This person loves this person loves you. We got I love you. And they could feel you um attaching yourself elsewhere. Or, you know, just doing other things. Just, you know, not being all about them. They feel like they was a distraction. I want to be more than friends. So this person wanted to be more than friends with you. They wanted to take things um, to the next level with you. I'm so attracted to you. This person is super duper attracted to you. Super duper attracted to you. Like, they like the way you look. There's something about you that they really, like, are is really, really attracted to. But it's something about when they saw you with someone else, they heard about you being with someone else, they got the hell out of there. They left. The details of that day is still rings in their head. There's something about forgiveness. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Maybe this was a revenge thing. Maybe this was some get back. Somebody possibly, you know, was just looking for someone to distract them from their pain. But this person definitely wanted to be more than friends. They wanted to be more. They wanted more from the connection. And maybe when you gave this, gave what they wanted to someone else, they just decided to leave. I don't react when people mention you. They don't react when people talk about you. If somebody brings you up, they try to hard as not to even like. It's like who is that? I don't even know who that is. I don't. I don't. They don't even flinch. Like they don't even. They act like you don't even exist. And I guess they do that to try to like let go of the situation. But this person is trying to become a better person. This person is working on themselves. They're trying to become the be a better version of themselves. But they, the details of that day still like haunts them to this day. It haunts them. Like they think about it all the time. It's like they heard about you being with someone else. They saw you or something to that nature. And it's just like a what? What for them? It was like one of those moments, like a what? Uh, the record just uh, what? 
type of day. Like, what just happened? What was that? All right, let's find out more about what's going on with your person. <coughs> All right, so tell me more about um, Capricorn's person. Honeymoon. Playfulness. This could be the one. All right, so I'm getting that there needs to be some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation between you and this person. But I feel like you and this person could be at a distance. It's a lot of playful energy here. Yeah, there needs to be like some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation about finances and career. There needs to be like some forgiving and learning of a lesson. Um, somebody has to open up and express their feelings. Okay, but I feel like you and this person is just at a distance. They're, you and this person aren't close to each other. This person could live at a distance from you or this person. You and this person just are very distant from each other. There's trust issues here as well. Yeah. So this is why the playfulness is here because we got to give your relationship a chance. See, somebody here is super codependent on this on this connection, okay? There's somebody from the past. Um, somebody was putting in effort or needed to put in more effort. Somebody felt like somebody was being was playing and really wasn't taking a relationship serious or taking it. Somebody felt like somebody was playing. This person felt like you were playing and you weren't taking the connection serious. They wanted you to put in more effort, okay? But I feel like someone new came along. We got new love. Someone new came along. For some of you, you're married to this person or somebody could be married. We got a wedding here. Tell me more. Tell me more about Capricorn's person. Keep an open mind. Yeah, there's a lot of flirting going on. They're open to... Uh, they're open to love. There is a lot of flirting going on. Um, somebody's expressing their emotions and feelings to them all the time. Like, they're really optimistic. They're open to love. Um, but I'm not sure if they're open to this connection as they were because they felt like you played them. They felt like played. Past life relationship. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. So they feel like they feel like you played them, and I feel like the trust is withered away. Like there's no trust in this connection. They feel played by played by you. Um, I feel like they have someone else in their energy that they could be, you know, flirting with or being open with. But they feel played by you. This person feels straight up played. Like they feel like you played them. They feel played. All right, so let's let's see what else we can find out about this person. What do you need to know about this person? Like, where are they? What do they have going on in their mind when it comes to the connection? So tell me about Capricorn's person. What does Capricorn need to know about this person? What does Capricorn need to know about this person? Oh, we got the moon. They have secrets. We got the Hierophant. And the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person could be hiding something here. Tell me more about... Tell me more about the moon. You could be dealing with the Pisces. The moon is Pisces, Cancer energy. Oh, this fell on the floor. I really don't want to take it. I don't think I'm going to take it. Uh, it was the Ace of Cups. This could be their emotions that they're hiding, their feelings. Tell me more about the moon here.
the high priestess. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with the Pisces. But there are secrets. There are secrets. They are having something. They're very private. They're not sure what to... They're not sure what to say or not sure what to think. When it comes to this situation, I'm getting very private. Maybe they're quiet. They're keeping quiet. They're, I'm getting like not sure what to say. Not sure what to say. Why is another text here? The Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person is very, very, um, very strict, very blunt. Like this person, if they, I'm getting this person is quiet. Um, and they're being quiet because if they say something, it's not going to be nice. And that's the energy that I'm getting. I'm not getting, I'm getting like they're private because they don't want to say the wrong thing. They don't want to make the situation worse because they don't have anything nice to say. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. We got the star and the empress here. Someone could be, uh, I'm getting mother and children. Someone could be pregnant here. Now the hierophant is here. Tell me more about the hierophant. Judgment. Wow. Wow. Ace of pentacles. Something here about realizing, uh, realizing uh, the choice that was made was the right decision. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Um, there was some juggling going on. There was some hearts that were broken. Okay. Your person feels like they have to protect us, protect their peace, protect their protect their peace and protect stand up for themselves. Um They feel like they have to protect their finances. I'm getting to tell the truth. This could be to a family. Somebody needs to tell their family the truth. Somebody's gotten in a new relationship. I'm getting somebody moved on. Like somebody moved on, got in a new relationship. I feel like this could be you guys. Like you guys moved on, got in a new relationship. And I feel like the person here is just trying their hardest to like keep quiet because they don't have anything nice to say at all. They feel like the best decision was made. I feel like they got a lot that they want to say, but they're keeping it to themselves. All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Tower. Ooh, okay. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so something's slowly breaking down. Um... Something's slowly being broken down. Oh, I'm getting wait and see. Oh, how it feels. Okay, so something is being slowly broken down. Like, uh, something that, that was built up is being slowly broken down. And I'm getting, like, this person is just on the outside looking in. They're on the outside looking in. I feel like this person still holds on to you, but they know that they have to move on. Like, I feel like this person still holds on to you. I feel like they still want this connection. I feel like they still want this connection. But they got to keep it moving. They know they got to keep it moving. They feel like the decision was made. 
I feel like the decision was made. The things that they want to say, I feel like they aren't saying because they feel like if they say something, then things will get carried away. Um, so this person is kind of like trying to, you know, keep the peace. They're trying to keep the peace. But I do see that this person is hurt by the situation. I definitely do feel like this person is kind of maybe watching you or they're getting information on you. Um, but they're just, I'm getting like they're just on the outside looking in. They're on the outside looking in. They're on the outside looking in. Let's get some advice about this situation. So tell me, give me some advice for Capricorns. Take action. Okay, so we got yes. So it's time to take action in, in this situation. It's time to take some type of action movement forward. Look for a sign. <coughs> no need to worry. No need to worry. So there's nothing that you need to be worried about. I feel like it's when if you want to take action towards this situation, then the spirit is saying yes, but you need to look for a sign first. But there's nothing that you need to be worried about. Be assertive. Like, just, you know, just pay attention. The situation will improve. Okay, so... The situation, this situation looks like it has the ability to improve, but action definitely needs to be took. Okay, yeah, listen to your intuition. So you got to be on your P's and Q's dealing with this situation. Like, you got to look for the signs. You got to pay attention. You got to take action at the right time. But Spirit is saying, look, there's no need for you to worry. The situation can improve. If this is what you want to go back to. Okay, we got let go. We got let go. Then we got wait here at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more. Yes. Yes. I feel like a peaceful resolution can come out of the situation, but it's going to be in the future. I feel like the opportunity for the situation to, to you know, move forward... Is going to be in the near future. Like an opportunity for it is going to be in the near future. I feel like solely there's no need for you to worry because I feel like if you're, you've already kind of, you've already let the situation go. Um, I feel like you've already let the situation go. But Spirit is saying, look, it, there's still something to look out for in this situation because it's too much. Take action, be assertive. Listen to your intuition. Look for a sign. There's still something here that needs to be resolved. There's something here that needs to be resolved. There's something about this situation that like something needs to be closed out or resolved. Recovery. Okay, so somebody needs to recover from something. It's up to you, not the right time. Okay, so some of you are going to be feeling like, look, the ball is pretty much in my court. That's why I feel like you guys are over here like not worrying about it because the ball is pretty much in your court. Some of y'all are going to feel like it's not the right time. Some of y'all have already cho chose a new direction. Remain positive. Like, yeah, it's just something about staying on your P's and Q's and just there's something better. The situation is going to improve because there's something better. Like, you guys are going to find something better. Maybe there's a better opportunity, a better job, a better relationship. Okay, within the next few months, there's something that you're going to have to listen to your intuition about. Something that you're going to have to get more information about when it comes to this situation. So more information is going to start coming out about this person, this situation that you guys have been, you know, kind of maybe checking in on or looking back at. I feel like there's some, some of you have already chosen a new direction. Some of y'all have already, you know, chose 
a new direction. We got reconsidered. There's something that needs to be re reconsidered. Okay, something needs to be reconsidered. And I'm just getting like unfinished business here with this situation. I'm getting a lot of unfinished business. Like there's something about some unfinished business here. So like, I think that's what I'm going to name this name this video. It's like unfinished business going on here. All right, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. As well as if you are new to the channel, click the bell to subscribe, okay? So I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.